so I thought it would be fun to take you on a brief tour of the Poetry Foundation site to help you a little bit with this very first discussion forum that you're going to complete. So let's take a look at it. Uh, I'm going to walk it through as though I was going to look for poetries by Natasha. Look, it calls her up for me. Natasha, I believe her name is pr pronounced Trethaway. Trethaway, but I'm not positive. Heard her once on NPR. She's an awesome poet, and she's writing today, contemporary poet. And I enter her name, and I click, and I get several important things for you to see. First of all, I get a biography, and that's cool, and you're going to want to read that. But what I would do first is explore some of the poems. Check out some of the poems, look for something that interests you, and then explore it. So I'm intrigued by this poem, Enlightenment, because it mentions Thomas Jefferson. And I'm going to read this poem. And if I find something in it that really moves me, that I want to do something with, then maybe I'll pick that poem. And once I've picked her, once I know that this is the poet I want to write about, then I'm going to go back and read that biography just to get a sense of who she is. So that when I write about the poem, I can have in mind some of the obvious cultural issues. For example, Trethewey is a mixed race. She grew up in the South. Her parents divorced. There's all sorts of interesting issues of gender, race, and family that are part of the context of her poems that you're going to want to be thinking about as you read her poems. And you only get that if you take a few minutes to read a biography. You'll also see that she's a contemporary poet. And uh, uh, more than half of the poets on the list are contemporary poets, but some of them are poets who have already passed away. So once you've found a poem that you're intrigued in, then you're going to want to look at the biography. So once again, let's walk through the steps. You type in the name of a poet you're interested in. So another one I, I like a lot. I mean, I love all 12 on this list, but Sherman Alexie, uh, Native American writer. And again, I'm going to go through and see if I can find... Uh, a, a poem uh, that interests me. And what's interesting about Alexi is they, they don't have too many of his poems. They have a lot of his other stuff. But uh, there's some fun stuff here. How to write the great American Indian novel, right? And I read that poem and I decide if there's language in there, if there's figurative language, if there's non-literal meanings, if there's a literary device, say something like a metaphor or an image or a symbol or any one of the things we discussed in the web lecture that I want to play with, that I want to look at more. I say, okay, yeah, this is the poem I'm going to do. And then I go back and I read about the poet. So that's a quick nutshell. Oh, look, you're born the same year as Trethway. That's interesting. Also has his own really cool blog that you might want to check out. A lot of the poets have links to their blogs, which is also really fun because these poets are writers and they're out in the world sharing. All right, anyway, that was a quick effort to introduce you to what the Poetry Foundation site looks like and how you can use it to um, uh, prepare your uh, contribution to this week's discussion. And remember to check out the videos about how to do uh, effective uh, and polite links in your discussion board forum so that you're following discussion board etiquette as you use these resources and share them with your classmates. Thanks a lot. See you in Blackboard.